right, so here we are at a park in Carborough and Chapel Hill, North Carolina. And this is Karen Hall with NC State, by the Hi. way. Hi. <laughs> and, um, and so we've done a stream restoration. And now we're in the phase where we're going to be planting this, this restoration. And we've got some bare root shrubs and some bare root trees and some juncus or rush grass. So we've got a variety of soft mass trees. We have blueberries, we have persimmons, uh, we have some spice bush, we have river birch and sycamore, uh, just to name a few. And so we've got some wonderful volunteers here who have come out on the Saturday morning to help plant and um, getting ready to demonstrate how we are going to plant um, all of these various trees to make this park look beautiful and also help protect the stream banks so we can prevent erosion and create really nice habitat in the process. So with that I'm going to uh, let everybody know exactly how I want them to plant things. Alright so what I want everybody to do is just kind of get maybe two of each species I cut them open. And I'll, um, I'll go ahead and take care of cutting the roots on those two tubelings. Okay, and these are all bare rooted. Yeah. So we've got. They've grown out for a year and then they're taken out of the ground. Witch hazel, spice bush, high bush blueberry, and persimmon. Yes. Okay. Is there a particular way that you want these arrayed around the park? Um, no. I want them just mixed up. Okay, mixed up. so everybody grab two, and I'm going to demonstrate. If somebody will. Yeah, okay, so what we'll do here is I'm going to show you, um... You want two of each? Two of each, each right? yep. Just keep them mixed up, okay? So we don't want a cluster of any particular one thing. So I'm going to demonstrate. This is a uh, blueberry, so if everybody comes over here, they can see exactly how we're going to plant it. And this uh, stream reach that's being restored here, mm -hmm. uh, Karen, this is the beginning of it. Uh -huh. Here at the culvert, mm -hmm. and then it goes down past you on the right. Yes. And it kind of winds through, and this is uh, Baldwin Park here in Carborough. Yes. That's okay. It. This is Baldwin Park. All right. So this is a town park here where yes, we've had some erosion along the stream banks. Yes. This is a stormwater fed stream, and this okay. is part of the uh, Jordan Lake watershed. All right. All right. All right. So, Mitch, <coughs> um, folks might be interested to know this. Culvert right here. Uh huh. Basically drains downtown Carborough. Okay, that whole cul culvert. Yep. Coming and right this down. is uh, Randy Dodd, by the way, with the town. Hey, hi, Randy. Okay. All right. So that drains all of downtown Carborough. So we're going to put some a part of that. Part of it. Okay. Yep. All right. So if everyone right. com comes over here, I'm going to show them how to do this. Uh, the particular shovel I have right now is called a sharpshooter. Any shovel will work. Um, there are rocks here because this was apparently heavily riprap before, but um, don't be afraid. I'm, I won't bite, so come on around. All right, so we just kind of want to, um, you just want a hole big enough to get this in, okay? These roots are not very long. Some of them are longer than others. Okay, um, very important. If you look on one of your bare roots, you're going to see where the root starts and where the stem starts. Okay, so that area is called the root collar and you want to bury that root collar right at ground level. You want the roots in the ground, you want the stem above ground. Okay, so we don't want any any roots protruding above the ground. Uh, we don't want to bury stems in the ground. So what we'll do is I need to make my hole just a little bit deeper. It is packed <laughs> right solid. On, right on top of a rock. <laughs> right on top of a rock. That's okay. I think I got it deep enough. So 
let's see, so you want to get it down here. What you don't want to do is you want to make sure that you don't really, you know, gnarl them all up. It's okay to do a little bit, but don't gnarl them all up. Try to get your hole as deep as your roots. Set it in there, and then there's a variety of ways to do this. I'm just going to do this by hand for demonstration purposes. But um, in some cases, you can go back with your shovel and just um, dig your shovel in and push the soil back around. So anyway, so you see all my roots are in. And I kind of tamp it down with my foot. And there we have a planted bush. One done, One 500 done. more to go. Pretty much. <laughs> and that's how we do it, Mitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.